hello folks and welcome to my channel if you haven't subscribed please do it now and hit the bell icon to get instant updates for today's project i'm using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and a double knit yarn so let's get started starting our work with a slip knot make a slip knot and secure it on your hook chain 2 We'll be making our foundation chain and our single crochet together. So go into the first chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. You have two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through the first loop. You again have two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. So here you've got your first single crochet. I'm going to place a stitch marker over here. Now rotate your work and see the back side of your work. You can see two loops over here. Go under both loops like this. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over and pull through both loops. You have your next single crochet. So again go in the back side and go under both loops. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through both loops. So we will repeat this until we have the desired length of our foundation chain. The only thing to keep in mind is that our pattern is going to be worked in sets of 6. So I'll be making my foundation chain in the multiples of 6 and at the end add 1. So I've completed my foundation row over here as you can see. I've made my work in the sets of 6 and I've made a total of 48 single crochets and then in the end I made one more so I have a total of 49 single crochets and a foundation chain over here. So in the starting we need 3 and then at the end we need 4 and the rest will be working in 6. So starting our first row or maybe this is the second row you can say chain 3 and turn your work. This chain 3 is considered as your first double crochet. Now working in the base, which is the first chain, make two double crochets. This is your first double crochet, now make one more double crochet. So this is your half shell over here. Now skip two chains or your two single crochets and then make one single crochet. Now skip two and in the third one make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, And five. Now skip two chains or your two single crochets and make a single crochet in the third chain. So this is your first shell stitch. So repeat by making these shell stitches until you reach the last three stitches. So here I'm left with three stitches. Now skip two and in the last stitch where you have your stitch marker, we're going to make three double crochets. One. Two. And three. And this is the end of your first row. And this is how your shells will look like. And we have half shells at the start and a half shell at the end. Starting our next row, chain 1 and turn your work. Make a single crochet in the first stitch. Now we will skip the next two stitches and then we have the top of our previous single crochet. Make 5 double crochets which is your shell pattern in this stitch. Now skip the next two stitches and in the third stitch which is the top of the previous shell you will make a single crochet. 
again you have the dip and you have your single crochet after skipping two stitches so make five double crochets over here we will repeat this for the entire row So here I am at the end of the row, now I'm going to make a single crochet on top of the chain 3 of the previous row. Starting the next round, chain 3 and turn your work. Now make 2 double crochets in the first stitch and this is a repeat of the first row where you made your stitches for the shell pattern. So this is your half shell, now on top of your shell make a single crochet. So in between we have skipped two stitches, again skip two stitches and at the end over here which is the top of the single crochet we are going to make our shell, a full shell which is five double crochets. So here I finished the row and I'm going to show you the length using the measuring tape. This is only one side of the sweater. So I've made 11 inches as you can see over here. 11 inches for the front side of my sweater. And you can see that this sort of the foundation chain is stretchier than the regular foundation chain. So here I've completed 16 rows and this is the length before we start the armholes. So I'll show you the length by using this measuring tape. So as you can see over here, it's nearly 7 inches. Now we're going to start our work for the armholes. Starting the next row, we're going to chain 1 and turn our work. Now make a slip stitch in the next stitch. So go in. Pull up a loop and pull the same loop through the loop on your hook. This is a slip stitch. Again make a slip stitch. Now make your third slip stitch and then the fourth slip stitch. So this one is on the top of your shell over here. So over here we're going to continue making our row and we'll start by making chain one and a single crochet on top over here. Now make your shell stitch in the single crochet and then we're going to repeat in the same manner so make your five double crochet after skipping two stitches one two three four and five. So make a single crochet after skipping two stitches and I'm going to repeat this until the last three stitches. So I've completed this shell over here now make a single crochet on top of the shell and we will just leave these remaining three stitches undone. Now starting the next row chain 3 and turn your work. So repeat the rows until you reach 4 and a half inches. So here I have completed 10 rows and this is nearly 4 and a half inches. Now I am going to make the straps for our shoulders. One strap on this side, then the neckline will be open and then the other strap. So starting the next row, chain 3 and turn your work. Now make your half shell over here. Make a single crochet on top of the shell. 
Now skip 2 stitches and make 3 double crochets in the single crochet. 1, 2, and 3. So for the neckline we need at least 7 inches. So I'm just going to measure it over here so that we don't work extra straps. So this is perfect. If we do our straps on the sides, we, we have 7 inches in the center. So now I'm going to chain 1 and turn my work over here. Make a single crochet in the same stitch. Now make a full shell in the center, which is 5 double crochets. Sorry for not being in the frame. Now make a single crochet on top of the chain 3. So I'm going to check the measurement of these two rows. So it's a little more than half an inch. So I'm going to repeat these two rows again until I have one and a half inches. Here I've completed four rows and the measurement is equal to one and a half inches. So this is perfect. Now I'm going to work on the other side of the strap. So we have to make sure that we have the same pattern that we have on this side, on the other side as well. So here I'm going to cut off the extra yarn. And now attaching my yarn on this side, we have to attach it from the right to left. So attach it at the spot where I have my single crochet so I'm going to chain one over here and then chain three. Now make two double crochets in the first stitch. This is your half shell. Make a single crochet on top of the shell and then make three double crochets in that last stitch. So repeat four rows over here to achieve the similar strap like the other side. So here I finished the other strap as well and I've cut off the extra yarn. And this is the front side of your work. Now make a similar pattern for the back side except when you are making the neckline we're not going to be leaving any straps. We're just going to close these four rows in the similar way as the rest of the rows. So over here I have finished the back side. This is the back side and this is the front. And I've placed it so that the right side are facing each other. And now we're going to join these two together. So we're going to join the straps and then the sides. So over here I've left a piece over here of the yarn. And now I'm going to use this to uh, stitch the work together. So you can use a hook to close both your sides together by uh, using a slip stitch but I'm going to be using a needle to stitch both the straps together, the front and the back. So with the long yarn which I left at the tail finishing the back side, I'm going to stitch the front together and you make sure that you have your front sides facing each other so that when we turn them inside out you have your right sides outside. So with the help of the needle, you're going to go under both stitches from one side to the other. Like this and pull it through. Or the other way is to pick up the back loops of both sides. So back loop of this side and the front side. And over here we go in and out. So we're picking the back loops only 
and we're stitching them together. As you can see over here. So this will help you achieve a very minimal seam line. If you pick up both stitches, your seam line could be a little bulky. So once you add the edge of the other side, just make sure your work is neat and your stitches are even. I'm going to do it one more time and now tie a knot like this. You could cut off the extra yarn and weave in the ends, now doing the sides in the similar manner. So here I've attached both the straps together to the back side and the sides are also done. Now turn your work inside out and you have your right side facing you. Now for the neckline we're going to do a single crochet stitch over here to make a finishing for our neckline. Grab your hook and yarn and attach your yarn to the side of the neck. I prefer to be doing it at the seam line. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull it through. Chain one and secure that work. So now go into the work evenly making single crochets. So I'll keep the end over here so that it weaves in while I work. So this is my first single crochet. I'm going to place a stitch marker. Now evenly make your single crochets all around. So here I've completed the first round and I'm back at my stitch marker. So remove your stitch marker and join with a slip stitch. Now chain one and make another single crochet. Place your stitch marker. Now repeat another round with one single crochet in each single crochet. At the end of the round, again remove the stitch marker and join with the slip stitch. Chain 1 and make a single crochet in the first stitch. Place your stitch marker. And now we'll make a decrease. So insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops and this is a decrease. So make one single crochet in the next stitch and then a decrease. So repeat this for the entire row. So here's the finished neckline. And you can make the decreases as uh, much as you want the neckline to be um, shorter or smaller, you could say. Now starting with our sleeves, I'm going to join from the outside, which is the right side of my work, my yarn. Attach it towards the seam line. You could start in the armhole or you could start at the shoulders. So I'm starting in the armhole side. So make your first single crochet, place your stitch marker and now evenly make single crochets all around. Just keep a count so that you have multiples of six because we're going to be making shell stitches over here as well. So once you have your single crochets evenly and you're back at your stitch marker, make a slip stitch 
And now here, make chain one and make a single crochet. Place your stitch marker. Now skip two chains or two single crochets and make five double crochets in the third stitch. And this is going to be your shell stitch. So repeat this shell stitch for the entire round. So once you're back at your stitch marker and you're finishing off your shell, skipping two and then you have your stitch marker. So remove your stitch marker. And make a slip stitch. Now in the same stitch, we're going to chain three. Now make two double crochets in the same stitch. One and two. Now this is your half stitch and you're going to complete it once you come back on the same round. So place your stitch marker on top of the chain 3. Now make a single crochet on top of that previous shell and continue working your way around. So now I've completed the round and I'm over here at the top of your previous shell. Make a single crochet and now you have your starting three double crochets. So we're going to complete the shell by making two more double crochets in that same stitch. So one, two, and join with a slip stitch on top of your work where you have your stitch marker. Make a single crochet and put your stitch marker back. Now continue with the round making your shell stitches and single crochets. And repeat the number of rows or your rounds in the similar way so that you achieve the length of your sleeves. So here I finished the sleeves, the number of rows over here is and I'll show you the length of the sleeves over here using the measuring tape. So the sleeves I made are nearly 5 inches. You can make longer sleeves if you like. And you can also close the edge of the sleeve by working a similar single crochet as we work for the neckline so that you have a closed cuff but I wanted a little flare so I'm going to keep them open now I'm just going to show you the length of the finished sweater and it is 13 inches and the width over here I've just turned it sideways to show you and it's 11 inches over here a little more than that so this is a complete sweater. You can do the second or the other sleeve in a similar way and make sure you have uh, similar sleeves. So if you like my video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.